Hey guys, it's Sarah from Sleepopolis, and today we're taking a look at the Sonic Bomb, which is an alarm clock designed to rouse even the deepest of sleepers. So stay tuned, because I'm gonna show you how to set it up, how it works, pretty much everything you need to know. So let's get started. All right, now before we get into how to set this alarm up and how everything works, let's just take a look at it. So this is the clock itself, but it also comes with an external device called the bed shaker, which quite literally shakes you awake. Now remember, this alarm is made for very deep sleepers, and we'll talk more about what the bed shaker and the alarm can do uh, in a moment, but the bed shaker is meant to either go beneath your mattress, beneath your fitted sheet, or if you're a really deep sleeper, beneath your pillow. So I don't know about you, I'm very eager to see how everything works, so let's get started. Okay, first things first, plug everything in. The bed shaker gets plugged into the back of the clock, and the power cord is plugged into an outlet. Now set the time by holding the time button and adjust the time by using either the fast or slow buttons. And you'll notice that fast gets you to the time quickly and slow does it minute by minute. Now this alarm gives you the option to set two alarms at once if you choose, just in case you sleep through the first one, but you can set only one if you prefer. So set one alarm by holding down the all set button and choosing your time in the same way that you set the clock time by using the fast and slow buttons. Then adjust the alarm mode switch on the top of the clock according to when you want your alarm or alarms to go off. For example, keep the switch at all one if you wanna set only one alarm, switch it to all one plus two if you wanna set that alarm plus a backup alarm, and switch to all two if you only want your second saved alarm to go off. No matter which you choose, make sure it's set for the correct time of day or night by paying attention to the little red light next to the PM indicator. Now, decide how you'd like the alarm to wake you up. You've got three options. Buzz, which is for sound only, Vibe, which will trigger only the vibrating bed shaker, or a combination of both, which is set by the vibe slash buzz button. But keep in mind that regardless of which you choose, red flashing LCD lights will activate when your alarm goes off. Now, this alarm can get very loud, but you can adjust the tone and volume by turning the dials on the side of the clock. Now, if you wanna snooze, just hit the snooze button on the top of the clock. The snooze timer is automatically set for nine minutes, but if you wanna snooze for longer than that, you can snooze for up to 30 minutes. Just hold the snooze button down for four seconds and adjust the time by pressing the slow button. And remember, if you ever wanna shut the alarm off completely, just press the all off button. All right, so we've seen what the Sonic Bomb can do. We've seen how to set it up. Now let's talk about whether or not it's the right fit for you. So first of all, if you're a deep sleeper, someone who frequently snoozes right through your alarm, this might be the way to go. In my opinion, between the red flashing lights, the super loud noise, and the vibrating bed shaker, it'd be pretty tough to sleep through this alarm. So another thing I like about the Sonic Bomb is that it lets you adjust pretty much everything. So it lets you adjust the volume of the alarm, the tone of the alarm, and I also really appreciate that you can set your snooze button to be up to 30 minutes long. So if you really like a nice long snooze, and you need that extra time to actually wake up and get adjusted, you can set your snooze button for up to 30 minutes. Now, in my opinion, the most unique and maybe the most useful feature is the bed shaker. So for me, when I was testing it, I tried it beneath my mattress, beneath my fitted sheet, and beneath the pillow. All three really rouse you awake. Now for me, I'm a very light sleeper, so this is probably not my best bet, but I will say the bed shaker is probably gonna come in handy for, like I said, you very deep sleepers, but also for those of you who are hard of hearing and might not even necessarily hear the alarm, the bed shaker is definitely gonna help shake you awake. And lastly, I have to say, all things considered for all the features that this alarm clock offers, it comes at a pretty great value. So it's about $33. You get free shipping, got a 30 day return policy, and it's backed by a one year warranty. Now, of course, there are a few things to consider before you make your purchase. So like I said, this alarm clock is made for deep sleepers and or those who are hard of hearing. So if you're a really light sleeper or you prefer to wake up to soothing sounds or like light music, this is probably not your best bet. And the last thing I'll mention is that 
Those looking for a really simple alarm clock with a very straightforward design might find that the Sonic Bomb comes with a little too many bells and whistles. So between all the toggles and the buttons, I did find myself getting a little confused when I was setting it up. Well, that's it for me, but for every last detail on this alarm clock, or you need a little refresher about how to set it up, remember that I always dive into much deeper detail in my full written review, which is linked below. And by the way, if you want to know how this alarm clock compares to others that I've tested, just Google Sleepopolis best alarm clocks. It'll be the first thing that pops up. Now, I do hope you found this review to be helpful, and if you did, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel, follow us on social media. We're always uploading more content with one main thing in mind, to get you some better sleep. Well, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.